Gee whiz. I am so frustrated. Why won't this thing work right? These robots are always acting up. They never work right. Lunchbot, can you hear me? Lana 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 lana. Speak to the hand. The software that runs this thing is so complicated. It is challenging to get those trillions of binary digits to work together correctly. There is so much data in this thing. It is hard to know where to look. Computer. Reset the lunch bot and flush out its pram. Error. Error. I see a blue screen. A blue screen of death. That cannot be right. You are Unix based. Computer. Re-image the lunch bot from the golden master. Estimated time to completion, 63 seconds. Please stand by. Hello, digital detective. It is great to see you again. What do you think about the agency's newest project? I call it the lunch bot. President Leah has declared the administration of the Department of Health and Food Services has failed in its mission by letting the country's primary school lunch programs fall apart. Once President Leah issued her declaration of administrative failure, our agency is automatically activated to come in and set right what went wrong. To fix the issues of school lunch programs once and for all, we have created a lunch bot. The lunch bot is an android, human clone, that will be deployed in school cafeterias nationwide. The lunch bots will prepare healthy, well-balanced meals for our nation's youth. And by using this cool superhero design, the lunch bot is sure to be welcomed by today's youth. Imaging complete. Would you like to reboot? Computer. Reboot the lunch bot. Beep 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 I see a white screen. A pinwheel. Yum that looks good and healthy to eat. Initiating auto login. Lunch bot 3000 ready for duty director Michibok. It is about time this thing works right. Let me run some quick tests. Lunchbot, what is your primary function? To provide a cost-effective, well-balanced school breakfast and lunch program while gathering useful intelligence on America's youth. Looks good so far. Lunchbot, what are the five pillars of a successful school lunch program? The first pillar is cost-effectiveness. The second pillar is compliance with local health regulations. The third pillar is to gather useful intelligence on America's youth for reasons of national security. The fourth pillar is to obtain DNA and other biometric data to populate the National Youth Biometric Database. The final pillar is to feed the school children Salisbury steak twice a week. Looks like things are working just fine here. You and your 480,000 identical brothers will be deployed next Monday at 5 a.m. to schools nationwide. God bless America. So, Digital Detective, it is great to see you again. I am sure you are impressed by our lunch bot. I have an assignment for you. Our field teams required training in open source digital forensic software. Prepare a training bulletin that informs our field agents of currently available open source tools for digital forensics. Give the field agents a brief overview of the different types of open source forensic software available to help with our intelligence gathering efforts. You might want to organize your training bulletin by categories. I am sure you know a lot about this topic from your lectures at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. You may need to do additional research using the internet for this project. Submit your training bulletin to turnitin.com so that it can be distributed to our agents in the field. Alert! Alert! Training bulletins must comply to Department Regulation 4.21 subsection G. The regulation provides that all training bulletins must be two pages. Single spaced. 12 point. Times New Roman with standard one-inch margins. Okay, digital detective, please get started on the training bulletin. I am going back to program the lunch bot. See you again soon.